Good morning. Good morning, everybody. My name is Chris Provost, and you're watching Provost Park Pass. And today, I'm at Disney California Adventure, and I'm going to do some new breakfast offerings they have here. These videos are the most stressful videos that I, type, I do. I'm doing the two things I feel the most uncomfortable in this one video. One, this is just a walk and talk video where I'm just kind of walking and talking. Most videos we do, I have uh, all my points planned out. And it's mostly facts and history. Those videos I love doing. This one, I'm just kind of like off the cuff, just chit-chatting, talking to you. And then also getting food and eating on camera. Oh my gosh, it's such a it's like my nightmare. But I thought it'd be kind of fun because I think they have some new breakfast offerings here at the Smoke Jumpers Grill. And so I wanted to go check it out. And I thought, why don't we just kind of share and go along? And then also I wanted to do a while ago, I did this a video and I, it was one of my favorite things you guys did is I went through and kind of told my story about why, how my love for Disney started, how like just all my, and I talked about some really good memories I have about Disneyland coming as a child. And then I asked people to put down, I said, put down your experiences. Why do you love Disney? What is it that makes Disney such a magical place for you? And there were so many comments. Um, it was almost overwhelming, but I just want to say this. One of the things that we have as a creator on YouTube, I have a little, if you write a comment, I can heart your comment, put a little heart on it. So what I'd like for you guys to do is I'd like you to take some time and just tell me where, why you love Disney so much. And then I'm going to go through and I'm going to be reading these comments. If you get a little heart on your comment, that means I read it. And I just want you to know that means I read it and it means a lot to me. Okay, because I just want to hear your stories because I think we all have this great love for Disney. All right, let's take a look at Smoke Jumpers Gear Grill. Here we are. Here we are. Smoke Jumpers Grill. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And they have some breakfast, and I want to go in and order some breakfast. So let's go take a look here at the new breakfast. I love breakfast sandwiches. It looks so. Oh my gosh. Here is the scoop. This is the brand new breakfast sandwich. This is a classic breakfast burrito, and this is the chorizo burrito. Now the chorizo burrito, that is vegan, okay? It's a vegetarian option. And also the cheese is, is a vegan cheese. So I was told, cast member told me, that if you don't like vegan cheese, what you can do is you can request just to have a normal cheese put on it, like a, a like you know, like cheddar cheese from that burger, could go on the chorizo burrito, um, if you don't care about the cheese. But that is your vegetarian option. And the cast member told me she felt that the classic breakfast burrito was the very best offering they have, but I love breakfast sandwiches. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna order both of them. We get the breakfast sandwich and the classic breakfast burrito. I'll try them both and tell you what I think. I'm not gonna order this. Maybe someday if Amanda comes back and does some videos for us, we can have her do this here. Not that kind of sound weird like if Amanda comes back. Amanda's still here. She's just, she's just momming, you know, doing mom things and, and uh, life is taking over there. So she's doing lots of mom stuff. Doesn't have as much time to do videos anymore. But uh, yeah, well, if we, if we get some time, maybe we have her do the vegetarian option. All right, so breakfast here is served until 10 in the morning. But if they say that they try to accommodate people. So if you're in line, let's say at like a 9.50 and they give you a breakfast menu and you haven't ordered and it flips over 10 o'clock, they're still gonna try to accommodate you. Uh, they usually have like a cutoff point. But yeah, served up 10 in the morning. And I think a lot of people think it's 10.30, it's 10. We already got our food, here we go. This is the burrito, this is the breakfast sandwich. It comes with some little, these fries are so good. Let's see, you hear them chunk, crunch. Oh, they're really good. Got some orange juice, let's do this. Okay, so here is the breakfast sandwich. It has sausage, egg, cheddar, hash browns, and they have this, uh, SJG sauce, Smoke Jumpers Grill sauce, I don't know what that is, and uh, green chilies on toasted bun. So yeah, there we go, let's check it all out. Okay, let's check it all out. I love breakfast food. All right, so I'm gonna eat on camera, I don't really, I mean, you don't feel comfortable with this, but look at that, you can see that, that's the, what is that, that's the giant hash brown. Wow. Okay. There was a place called Carl's Jr. Um, I think on the East Coast it's called Hardee's. And they have like a breakfast hamburger. It's got like, it's like, like a heart attack on a bun basically. It's one of my favorite things I've ever had though. It's got like 
egg on it. It's got hash browns and it's delicious. And this is the closest thing I've ever found to that. Literally after the one bite. Mm. Okay. And I was told the breakfast burrito is even better. But I'm gonna, like, that's like a, one of my favorite breakfast offerings I've ever had here. I'm gonna eat some more and I'll come back. I'm being completely, for reals, this tastes so good to me. Okay, <clears throat> here's the thing. I, this is, no exaggeration, I think this is the best breakfast sandwich I've ever had at Disney. I love it. I don't know why I love this so much. It's because I'm hungry or whatever, but it tastes so good. And to the point where I just want to eat the whole thing. But I know that I need to start the breakfast burrito. Because I, for me, if I'm full and I start eating something, it doesn't ever taste as good. So I want to still be hungry and try the breakfast burrito to give that a good chance. But I'm having a hard time stopping the self-control on this breakfast burger. Oh, it's so good. I know that that maybe doesn't look very appetizing, but I can't begin to tell you how good that tastes. It's amazing. All right, now we got the breakfast food over here. I, I want, I'm sorry. I want to come back to you. I love you. Okay, let's go over here. All right, breakfast burrito right here. <clears throat> All right, so you guys have to help me. This is this is a classic breakfast burrito. It's got sausage, bacon, egg, cheddar, and hash browns. Oh my gosh! And it comes as mo mo I don't know how to pronounce that. I kept my menu so I can read that. Mo mo mocajate salsa. I love salsa, so let's try it. Get the freak out of here. It's so good. This is insane. Disney, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's so good. Hold on, let me, let me chew it up and I'll come back and talk about it. So I got done eating, well I took a, after the bite of the burrito, so I'm gonna go back to hamburger and just compare. These are the best. Okay, this is it. This is the best I've ever had here at Disney. I'm not even joking. I, I don't know why. Um, I thought they would, be honest with you, before I got here, I, think they, I thought they'd rank about seven out of 10. No, get out of here, no. These are like, it's like perfection on a bun. <laughs> All right. I, I, I'm gonna go outside and find a nice little quiet area. I'm gonna read, I'm gonna decompress. I'm gonna give you my thoughts on those hamburgers and the burrito. And I have to show you a sign, I think it's hilarious. And then we need to talk Disney magic. There's still a lot more to do here. But, okay, let me go outside and find a little, nice little quiet area. Okay, before I walk out, I just have to show the signs. There's no joy riding in camp. That's really funny. I need, to, we'll get outside, I'll tell you what, we gotta talk about joy riding. I can't believe Disney has that here. Okay, so I'm outside. There's not a lot of people out here, so I feel like I talk a little more freely. All right, let's talk about joy riding, and then I'll talk about the hamburger and burrito. Because, okay, <laughs> do you know what joy riding is? Joy riding is a crime. Yeah, yeah. So, um, you guys know what Grand Theft Auto is, right? That's when you steal a car, and it's an intent. You steal a car, whatever. Well, joy riding is when you take somebody's car with the intent to return it, but you're just out driving it, you know, mostly maybe to impress your friends, and then, but then you're gonna go back and you're gonna return it, taking it for a little joyride. That's called joyriding. I love it, that it says there, it says no joyriding in the campground. I think it's hilarious, because then people are like, what is joyriding? All right, so let me go ahead and review this whole thing for you. Are you ready? The hamburger is 10 out of 10. Uh, and then the burrito is a 10 out of 10 but the hamburger is a bigger 10 than the burrito, if that makes sense. They're both perfect. Um, I think I'm a little more biased with the hamburger because I just love hamburger stuff, but that burrito was so good that I don't want you to think I don't love it because I do love it. When I ate the hamburger, immediately as I started to chew it, 
I smiled, like, like, I was like smiling. And then when I started eating the burrito, like your eyes kind of like roll in the back of your head because it's just so much pleasure. It just is great. I, I don't know, I don't know, I don't, I don't know how to talk about that stuff. Anyways, it was amazing. Okay, so I want to talk a little bit about Disney magic. Here's the thing. This is my theory. I think most Disney magic is past. It's passed from one person to the next person. So if your mom was a big Disney fan, then she probably passed that love of Disney on to you. Or your dad, or your uncle, or your aunt. If they love Disney, then most likely they pass that love to you and you learn to love Disney. Now there are a few people out there who I think are outliers who they didn't know and then they come to Disney for the first time by themselves and then they learn to love Disney. And then if that's the case, they seem to pass that magic on to their family or to their friends. But I think that there's a lot of people that this Disney magic, it just is, it's just passed within, within the family. My mom loves Disney. She loves Minnie Mouse, she loves it. And she passed that on to me and to my sister and we both love Disney and uh, we passed that on to our families. My sister is awesome and her husband, he was not a big Disney fan when he got introduced to our family, but my sister since then has converted him and now he loves Disney too. I think that the Disney magic is passed. So here's what I would like to hear from you guys. Down in the comments down below, take your time. I would like to hear about your experiences with Disney. What do you love about it? What makes it magical for you? What is your favorite memory that you have with Disney? How did you how did you learn to love it? Was it passed on to you? Did you discover the magic yourself? I would love to hear your comments down below. And when you see, if you get a, like a little heart, there's a little red heart. If you if your comment has a little red heart, there's only one person who can give you that. That's me on Provost Park Pass. And that means I read your comment and thought it was great and I hearted it. So <clears throat> go ahead and take your time and put your comments down below. And I just want to take some time myself and I'm going to read them and just dive into it and hear about all your Disney magic. Um, yeah, so put down your Disney magic down below. I want to hear about, I want to hear about it. And again, just a quick little reminder, if you see that little heart on your comment, that means I read your comment and I thought it was great. Take your time and, and but let me just say this, let me give some advice though. Don't put anything too personal so that people can identify, like don't put your address or don't put, nothing that's too personal because I don't want, because anybody can read the comments. So just be aware that people will be reading your comments. <laughs> you know, privacy. So anyways, yeah, put it down in the comments down below. And if you were thinking about, like if you want to come down to Disney, that the best way to do it, we have a link down below. Click that link, that'll take you to Getaway Today. You'll get the very best deals at the cheapest rates. We've negotiated them with uh, Provost Park Pass. Or you can call them at one eight five five getaway And uh, when you call them, tell them Provost Park Pass sent you and you're gonna get the lowest rates that you can absolutely get. So I just think it's awesome. And I gotta, t I just gotta tell you that, that food, that's something else. That's something else. Do you know how good that food was? That food was amazing. But do you know what's even more amazinger than that food? You. And I am talking to you. I want you to know that right now, I just focus on this. Hear the words that I'm saying to you. I just want you to know, I think you are amazing. You are awesome. And you make the world a better place. You're better than that breakfast burrito and hamburger. And those are 10s. So you're an 11 and you make the world better. And if you're having a hard time and you're struggling and you're feeling like things are not gonna get better, I promise you it will get better. I know I've done it myself too, but sometimes just in that, you just in that, sometimes you're just in a dark, bad place and in a funk, it gets better. And I want you to know that you are worth it and you're amazing and the world's better because of you. All right, guys. All right, well, that's my little video for the day. You guys are awesome. Have a fantastic day. I'll talk to you later, bye-bye was the best breakfast I have ever had at Disneyland. I know it didn't look like a lot but or much, whatever, but it was so good when you eat it and put it in your mouth. You're like, woo This is the best food I've ever had at Disneyland. I love it. 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 I love it.